guys welcome back to my channel so today is going to be my first week well today's going to be my first day of nursing school and i'm really anxious i'm really scared but then i'm also very excited to start i want to take you guys along with me um, because i know i have a few of nursing majors that subscribe to this channel and wanted to know how it's gonna go and guys i'm really scared because it's a lot of work that i just saw on my canvas but I'm very excited to start. So today is actually a very chill Monday. I only have two classes, but they're kind of like two to three hours long. But it's so chill because it's two classes. Let me let me hope it's chill. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys what I have today. I have nursing 231 lab, which is principal and application nursing tech lab, and then I have a um, nursing 302 lab, which is health assessment lab. So, Mondays are going to be my lab days, and that's going to kind of go, that's how my Monday is going to go. I'm going to try to record inside my class, like lab, but if I can't, I'll give you a little update of what it was, how it went, and all of that. So, see you guys, and also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. like the syllabus and stuff like that and how to wash your hands like the basic things before getting started so it wasn't really that bad I was kind of scared but they were just kind of explaining everything that we're going to do in future clinicals so guys don't be scared like I was I literally had a fucking headache we actually practiced like on the um, like nursing dummies and it was actually really really nice we learned how to like wipe them like if they were ever like really ill or sick how to wipe like if they you know like if they shit on themselves or like you know they were really sick we learned how to like wipe them properly and do all of that good stuff and um yeah like their penis like how to clean their penis or their vagina properly so it was really like simple and really easy um just learning how to interact with the patient and we had different scenarios too so it was really really fun and if we were wrong like the nursing um instructor professor they would tell us what we should do or we should not do so that was basically it um but yeah i changed some clothes because you know i went to the gym <laughs> we went to the gym get it right um but yeah that was pretty much my first day it wasn't nothing too crazy just a lot of information overload but that's gonna be the first day for anyone really and then also I want to say the labs are a little bit more hands-on so it wasn't really like oh like labeling like you know pre-nursing like all of that stuff and like I feel like it was just more hands-on so it was actually really really fun it was more talkative and honestly it didn't feel like a lab lab like you know like we didn't have the first day quiz or anything like that it was so chill actually it was really nice I was really overthinking it for the first day at least Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you guys what I got in my Marymount University um, lab bag. And this is going to be my lab bag for the rest of the semester. I'm pretty sure this is going to be... Actually, I think it's just a semester, but I could be mistaken and we might use it for like the full year. But I'm very sure that it's just going to be for the semester just because labs are going to change or whatnot. So this is how my bag looks like. And it comes with a medical little plastic thing for your like ID or like card or whatever where you put the name school and phone in case it gets lost and it's really nice it's right on the side of the bag so I wanted to share you guys really quickly what's in my bag and if you guys are looking for what you want to buy for your lap bag this may help you guys so make sure to like comment and subscribe and let's get to it 
So I want to start off with my lap bag. This was actually provided by my university, which is great because your girl already spent so much money on textbooks and it's crazy how much that was. I'm like, that's not school tuition. Like, it's just so damn expensive. So anyone going into the program, just know that you're going to be spending a lot of money before you even get started and during. But it's all going to be worth it, you know, with God's will and your efforts and everything. It's all worth it. So don't don't mind spending money because you will have to spend money in order to be su successful. But yeah, this is my lab bag and I'm so grateful that I didn't have to buy all of this stuff. But I'm sure that I'll have to buy a few more things that weren't provided, let's say for like stimulations or other classes. I'm not really sure just quite yet. But let's get on started. Let's get on started because I will rumble. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. So I'm going to start off with this. This, um, I'm not going to take everything from the bag, but this was an isolation scrub um, or gown or whatever you want to call it. But it is these ones which are disposable. Um, obviously, it won't be disposable for us because... Um, depending on what labs we are doing, if it doesn't get dirty, we'll just reuse it. We learned on how to put them on the first day and like how to put them properly, how to tie them, um, and how to take them off because let's say it gets contaminated or it gets something on it, blood or whatever the case might be, whatever the object might be or thing, um, you have to properly take it off so you won't put this on your skin or anything like that or spread anything. So that's that. Um, so it's just blue and it's just like the scrub. Let me take it off for you guys actually so you guys can see. So it just looks like this. This is the arm, right? And as you can see, I used it. <laughs> so it's all like, but this is how it is. And you just put this on or the strings so you can tie it. And this is like when you're on lab simulation, you just put it on. It's really cute. So I ended up bringing gloves because I did, I bought extra and um, these are clean but um, yeah these in labs you're always going to have these gloves available. It's always nice to have extra just in case let's say there's a shortage wherever you do your clinical which I'm sure there won't ever be a shortage at the hospital but you never know so like buying extra would be nice too. Okay, and then so on here, I have pupil gauge and swabs. So I guess depending on like what clinical I'll be doing or like what lab, we're going to be using this. And so, in, and so then here, next I have a IV start kit with um, Chlora Prep, right? And this is just the starter kit overall. So it's all like in a little plastic bag. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's all like in a plastic bag. It looks like that. Let me just open it to show you guys. So this is the micro clamp. And this is a clamp rotating lure. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well, but it looks like so. I don't want to take it out the bag because... We're not using it right now. And then this is the IV starter kit. And so this is everything that it comes with. And this is how it looks like. Secondary medication set. And it looks like this, right? And this is the, it says 37 um, three centimeters hanger. This is the male lure lock adopter. And this is a solution set with lure activated balls. And fluid path is sterile, and it says caution, do not use if tip protectors are not in place. So it gives you all like this good information, cautions, notes, directions, and this is the secondary medication set. So this is how it looks like. Alright, so this is the solution set. Um, and this is like the whole like set, right? Right, and I can't take it out of the bag because well, I'm not using it right now. So then I have the central line dressing CAG, CHL, 
Um, and this is me just reading it out, you know, but of course those are variations. This is the central line dressing. What it has, it has one mask, one pair of gloves, one towel, one gauze, um, sponge, one antiseptic. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, applicator, one medical tape, one transparent film dressing, one applicator, and that's that. So it just looks like that. And that's all within this bag. So then I have a suction catheter kit with chimney valve. If I'm saying it wrong, here it is. I'm sorry, guys. That's that, and it's all in the bag right here. And obviously we can't see it that much, kind of like the shape, but I just can't open it right now, so. So then here in like these little baggies, um, if you guys can see, this is chlor um, sodium chloride and um, powder Y, which it has two grams in it, and this is for training use only. So that's that, and this is what we're going to be using, I believe, one day, right? So that's that. Okay, and so we also got this lead pressure cold. If you guys can see, this is a blood pressure cuff, and it looks like that, and this is how it looks. Um, if you guys can see, that's what's inside of the box, and this is going to be a necessity in labs, right, if we're going to be practicing. So then, of course, we have a face shield, all right? We just do this. I don't even want to mess up my bun, but we have a face shield because, well, we're going to be in hospital setting and even in clinicals. Um, well, in clinicals, we'll be in like, you know, hospital setting. So in hospitals, and this is going to be needed, especially during this pandemic and all that good stuff. But I believe we'll probably even use it in labs, right? When we're in like regular classrooms. So this is a a sterile care tray. I'm sorry if I look a little confused. I just did not know how to pronounce one word, but we're gonna skip that. It's a care tray, right? And I'm gonna tell you guys what's in it. It has three, three compartment tray, right? And it has one pair of powder, has one tray tria, two brush, one waterproof drape, non-woven sponges, and has four woven, um, non-woven sponges, two pipe cleaners, two cotton tip applicators, one pre-cut drain sponge, and one swirl tape. So that's all in this, right? All right, so here, this is also a care tray, I believe. It's a pre-connected closed system for two contents that come in this little baggie right here. We have one fully catheter, 100% silicone. Um, we have a drainage bag, not made with natural rubber latex. We have one bed sheet clamp, one syringe, which is 10 um, milligrams, pre-filled with sterile water, two medium gloves, powder-free, one waterproof drape, um, fenestrated drape, cleansing, cleansing swab sticks in a pack, lubricating jelly, uh, patient label, packaging overwrap, procedure tray, and insert label. So we have all of that right here. And this is what we have. Then here in this other tray, we have bags with twist tie, combined dressing, um, confirm bandage, cotton tip applicator, a wrap, um, gloves, perf bag, staff sticks again, tape, towel, and wire scissors. So I believe this is like all the like the things that you will need for like the clinicals and labs and stuff like that. And yeah, it's also a dressing tray. This is a stethoscope, and it's believed to be lightweight, so that's really great. It's not really heavy, and it's lightweight, durable design, reliable and clear acoustics, and it's a two-year warranty. Ooh, convenient shape for blood pressure application. So this is really nice, really pretty. It's just black, and if your school is not 
able to provide you with one stethoscope. I believe you can find some on Amazon from different colors. I know they're not really like specific on like the colors, even though black is a is a way to go. But if you want to buy like extra ones, I definitely would want to buy me like a pink one. But this is really pretty. Um, definitely, if you are not provided with some things, items for your lab, this is one thing that you'll for sure need. And we have a little bit of some sterile, which looks like this. Um, and I'm not sure if this is like rubbing alcohol or anything, but this is what we have in it. All right, and that's it for today. I hope you guys loved it and enjoyed it. And if you guys want to watch more videos upon my journey, let me know. Um, this is all that I got. This day was really, really good. It was really chill. And today is Wednesday. I did not have class yet because my clinicals will be on Wednesdays, but that will be starting next week. So I do want to keep you guys updated. However, I have gotten overload. Like, first day was chill, syllabus week, but then with that syllabus being read, there are so much things ahead of me, so much work. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear, like, the outside, but there is so much quizzes that are coming up, so I definitely want to plan to study for certain things and just to jot down notes. And if you guys want to watch, like, a plan, my semester video with me or how I'm going to plan to study, I'll definitely love to do that video. It might be a little late, a little after I do certain exams or a little after the day of, but it's going to be posted if you guys want that. And I know I recorded Monday and it's a little later, but this is going to be like, some videos are going to be like pre-recorded and then I'll just post later after I finish editing. I definitely do want to keep you guys updated with this journey because I know so many of you guys are some nursing majors and some a lot of you guys actually dm me upon my journey and all that good stuff and i have been writing down everything you guys want to see like what type of nurse i want to become i know you guys suggested that video so i'm going to be uploading that i'm going to be filming that soon so that's just a little like update of like what to expect to see upon like the nursing series that i'm gonna have here on this channel and you guys are really curious upon like what nurse i want to be so i do want to share that with you guys and if there's any other videos you guys want to see let me know in the comments below or also dm me see you guys <laughs>